Hi guys, welcome back to part two of my Peter Pig British Airborne uh, tutorial. So today we're going to be looking at painting and let's get to it. So to start off with, I'm going to be using AK Real Color. The one on the top uh, is modulated and the one on the bottom isn't. So after I've put that initial coat down of the SCC 15 Olive Drab, I'm then going to modulate it with the SCC 15 and buff at a 50-50 ratio so i'm just going to be spraying the tops any sort of parts where the, you're going to see a bit of sunlight and then as per usual with all my models i'm going to give it a nice wash of mig uh, black wash so a nice dark color here um, and i'm getting in all the recesses and all the panel lines etc Once that's done, I'm going to wipe away all the excess using that cotton bud dabbed with a little bit of um, thinners. Um, and then once all of that's dry, I'm then going to paint all the storage and the infantry in that German camo dark brown. And then moving on to the ammo crates that are uh, on the front of the Jeep here. So I'm using Vallejo US Dark Green. Um, if you want to know how I went about painting the infantry, uh, I'll leave a link to my British Airborne tutorial uh, down below. Okay, once those, once those have been painted, I'm then going to move on to some of the wooden objects. So in this case, the rifle and any of the spades, etc. And I'm going to be using Vallejo Flat Earth for that. Okay, now I'm painting all the metallic objects on the vehicle in Vallejo Black. Once that's done, I'm going to highlight those green ammo crates using Vallejo German Camo Bright Green. Um, don't go too heavy with this, just capturing some of the uh, outer edges. Um, any little details that you want to get with that. It's a bright colour so don't go too mad with it. Alright once we've highlighted that green I'm then going to move on to Vallejo German Grey. This is going to be used to highlight any of those black metallic areas. Once I've finished with that I'm going to be moving on to Vallejo Old Wood. So this is going to be for any of the straps holding the storage in place um, and this is a nice colour for an initial base coat uh, for your sort of ropes. Once I've finished here, I'm going to be using a Vallejo black wash. It doesn't have to be Vallejo, it could be um, any other, any other uh, black wash. Um, but I'm going to be just getting in those green ammo boxes, just um, giving them a bit more uh, definition around the, uh, the areas where it's a bit hard to get to with a paintbrush. And you can see I'm going very light with this. It's not a heavy wash. I never do super heavy washes, um, especially with the um, when they're not enamel I just go uh, quite light. Then for the headlights I'm using Vallejo Luftwaffe uniform and I'm just getting in there as best I can but not going mad where it's going to be um, putting it all um, on the outer side of the, the actual jeep. Then I'm highlighting the wood with Vallejo orange brown and then the rifle so I'm highlighting the rifle with um, Vallejo German Camel Peo Brown. So I like to do two different wooden highlights, orange brown for sort of like the equipment and then the uh, Camel Peo Brown for any weapons. Now I want to add some sort of rope lines if you will uh, on this rope. So I'm using Vallejo Iraqi Sand and I'm just doing them in little intervals to sort of give you that ropey look. Thank you. 
All right, now I'm moving on to um, some of the actual personal equipment of these troops. So I'm using uh, Vallejo Russian uniform for this. You will also see this on the infantry painting tutorial that um, I have for these, for these models. Once I've finished here, I'm going to then highlight any of the metallic objects with Vallejo London Grey. So that's the rifle, the shovel and any other metallic object that I have. And then to highlight the um, infantry's equipment uh, that I've paid in that Russian uniform, I'm then going to use a Russia uniform Iraqi sand one-to-one -one, um, combination for that. Then I'm going to add a couple of little lines on the bulbs or where the lights are. So I'm going to be using Vallejo White for that. And then to uh, give the front of the vehicle its Pegasus um, badge or recognition badge, I'm just using Vallejo Dark Red. Um, it's up to you. I, I didn't want to paint the blue emblem in there as well, just because it looks a bit messy when I do it. And then finally, I'm going to be painting the wheels in German grey. The reason I've left this part till last is because it's a, it's a metal um, miniature. I find that when I'm pushing it around and trying to pick it up and that, that's the place that starts to lose the most amount of paint. So I'm using the wheels last before I put down a um, clear coat. Okay, and then just some things to note, uh, flat clear spray once finished, gloss varnish any lights and weather vehicles to your own taste. And then there's the finished product guys, so I really hope that you enjoy this as a quick tutorial, but yeah, I really hope this has been of some benefit. If you're new here, please like and subscribe and I will catch you at the next one. Thank you.